Hi, welcome aboard Southern Comfort. Now let's go have a look downstairs on the inside of this fabulous boat. Down the companionway, standard door on the right hand side. You can see there now. This leads into the ample head. Ventilation. Sink. Which also becomes a shower head. With the waste removal and a shaver adapter in the back screen. All fully waterproof, cupboards at the back, and 12 volt LED lighting at the top. Shower screen which comes across the door, covers the door. As you come in on the left hand side, we have the main berth. This is a king size bed. Standing room for changing, window ventilation. Cupboards, full of uh, stuff. You have the main electric panel. On the boat is an additional hair dryer for the ladies. Into the rear cabin now. You have the main cabin area, king size bed, ventilated window, which leads into the cockpit area and down to the far end of the bed. There are two lights inside here, both 12 volt LEDs. Plus you also have a safety alert carbon monoxide detector for while the boat is berthed and the engine is running which is currently happening at the moment. Into the cockpit, into the galley area, you have the CD player. There is controls at the helm. Now oh, there's radio station, CD and auxiliary. Fire blanket, fire extinguisher, the window, microwave. The sink area itself is hot and cold from the sink outlet, drains overboard, cupboards underneath. This particular sink has a modification on it, which allows you there, the end of my finger, it's a um, filter. And the carbon monoxide alarm's gone off because I got the engine running. Just to prove that works, microwave. The cooker itself is electric and alcohol. You have drawers underneath. Coming round. We have the TV, DVD player, storage. Storage at the back. As you can see, it's full of stuff. Round into the forward V berth. Behind the mirror is the anchor locker. Ventilation there. Ventilation on this side. And that's your escape hatch. There's an additional socket that's been added into this area here, so whoever's in the V berth um, gets access to power. Coming back slightly, we have storage under the seat. Across to the dinette, where we have storage again. Dinette converts to another bed, which is a twin. There is storage underneath the vein one. Storage underneath and we have the fridge and more storage at the back of the seating area underneath there uh, that's generally the inside we have fly screens on the internal windows these are both full ventilation and allow lots of air in and storage wise you have storage under the main v-berth you have a locker on this side there is a further locker on the other side and one right down the front end of the v-berth itself Two main speakers into the main cabin area. That takes you then to the externals again.